Have you ever thought to yourself, why do some hydroponic systems have air pumps in the water reservoir? Surely the gas exchange in plants is happening with carbon dioxide and oxygen in the leaves. Well, that is correct, but there is also a form of gas exchange happening down below in the roots. I'm Charlie from Proponics, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly why it's a great idea to have an air pump in your water reservoir in your hydroponic systems. You've likely heard that many hydroponic systems use air pumps, and you might be wondering what their purpose is. Oxygen is crucial for plants, not just for their leaves, but for their roots as well. Oxygen is a crucial part of cellular respiration and the production of energy for plants. While leaves bask in the open air, roots in hydroponic systems find themselves submerged, making oxygen harder to come by and absorb. This is where air pumps and air stones come in. An air stone is a stone that diffuses air that is pumped through it, creating a stream of air bubbles when placed underwater. The air stone would be placed inside a water reservoir and it is attached by tubing to an external air pump outside the reservoir. When placed in a hydroponic water reservoir, the pump draws in fresh air. The stone transforms it into a stream of air bubbles, oxygenating the water which surrounds the plant's roots. Depending on your setup size, you might find yourself in need of more than one air stone. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all hydroponic systems are created equal when it comes to needing an air pump. Let's delve into the specifics. Deep water culture systems are the underwater breathers of the hydroponic world. Their roots are always submerged, making air pumps not just useful, but essential for survival. On the flip side, the cracky method plays it cool with a passive approach, leaving the roots partly submerged. This partial submersion is what allows the cracky method to oxygenate roots without any additional equipment. Some of the roots can take up water, while the non-submerged part can absorb oxygen. Similarly, wick systems, drawing nutrients as needed, can utilize an air pump, but will survive without one. Then we have drip, ebb and flow, nutrient film technique, and aeroponic systems. These systems give roots a breather, literally. With roots not constantly submerged, they can regularly absorb oxygen through the air, making air pumps unnecessary. Each system has its unique way of ensuring the roots can breathe easy without being fully underwater. So, while the deep water culture system relies on air pumps for oxygenation, Cracky and Wick systems sit comfortably in the maybe zone. Drip, ebb and flow, NFT and aeroponic systems, however, give their roots plenty of airtime, negating the need for air pumps. Whether you're setting up a new system or optimizing an existing one, understanding the role of air pumps can make all the difference in your plant's growth and health. Remember, in the world of hydroponics, oxygen is just as vital below the surface as it is above. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.